Hey guys, Rusty here at Blue Robotics with a new product update. Today we're launching a custom designed battery for the Blue RLV2. This battery packs almost double the capacity compared to the battery that we currently recommend. That means longer dive times for the RLV and much more convenience and reliability for you. This battery is built of cylindrical 18650 cells, the same type of battery cells that are in a wide range of devices ranging from e-bikes to electric cars. This battery uses Samsung 30Q cells, which are high discharge rating and uh, heavily tested for safety and reliability. We've even got fail safes built into each individual cell. <clears throat> the battery is comprised of 24 of these cells, arranged in a circular pattern, with six in parallel and four in series giving a pack voltage of 14.8 volts, perfect for the ROV, and a capacity of 18 amp hours, which is a lot. Uh, the battery's cylindrical shape allows it to fit perfectly into one of our three-inch enclosures, including the one on the bottom of the ROV. Uh, and it's got a standard XT90 plug for discharge and charge, and a standard JST balance connector. We've been using these batteries and prototypes of these batteries since last August on the Blue ROV 2. Generally, we get about six hours of dive time uh, with very light use, about three to four hours of normal use, and about one to two hours of very, very heavy use on the RV. On most of our recent trips, we've used just a single battery for an entire day's worth of dives. If you know much about lithium batteries, you'll know that they're a pain in the butt to ship, especially when they're big like this pack. We spent a lot of time learning the rules and regulations required to ship lithium batteries both domestically and overseas. We've also done a number of trial shipments, mostly unsuccessful, to different countries around the world. But now we're prepared. Regardless, we're starting with a relatively limited list of countries that we're going to ship to at first. That includes the US, Canada and Mexico, Australia, Japan, India, and a few other Asian countries. Within a few weeks, we hope to expand that list to include most of Europe and a few other countries. That's all I've got for today. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time.